Hi, my name is Brandon Dizwankowski, and I'm an RBT with Brett and Ovin Associates. If you like our channel, please like and subscribe for more content. Today's topic is a continuation of our Pop Culture ABA series, and today we will cover F6 of Section 2 in the BCBA 5th Edition Task List, Common Functions of Problem Behavior. In this video, we will be touching upon superheroes and their functions. When we speak about the functions of behavior, we are talking about access to tangible, escape from demand, automatic slash sensory, and attention. All behavior can be traced back to one of these functions, and there are multiple tools we can use in the field of ABA to assess which behavior falls under what function. For the purpose of this video, we will be speaking about the character traits of the superheroes and why their selected functions contribute to their behavior. Let's get started. We're going to start with Iron Man, aka Tony Stark. Tony is best known for his playboy lifestyle, his genius inventions, and his larger than life ego. The world needs Iron Man, and Tony knows it. Tony is selfish, narcissistic to the bone, and full of witty comebacks. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. To say Iron Man's function of behavior is attention is to state the obvious. He owns the tallest building in New York with his name on it. He branded himself a superhero, and that's just to name a few attention-driven actions. Tony is no doubt a great hero, and in the end, he was the one to make the sacrifice play time and time again. But what exactly motivated these actions? Even though, when you look at the suit, it's flashy and it's loud appearance, all of that further explains how it's all driven towards attention. That's just Tony Stark for you. Weapon X, AKA James Logan Howlett. Wolverine is well known in the MCU and throughout the history of Marvel Comics. But have we ever thought of what makes him tick? Logan, for those who may not know, is a superhuman or a mutant with regenerative abilities, claws attached to the bones on his hands, and super strength. Logan has spent his entire life running from undesirable situations and people who meant to control him. When Logan takes action, he means to escape those situations and or remove the threat from his loved ones. His ultimate goal is to live in peace and solitude. Historically, Logan engages in behaviors that avoid the fights unless they have to be fought because he knows he's gonna win them. Logan is hunted by the government that wants to control him, enemies that want to hurt his loved ones, and a past that just won't go away. Logan's behavior pushes him towards escaping the hunt, escaping the demand of being locked up like a caged animal, and escaping the threat of having loved ones that end up getting hurt. Essentially, Logan just wants to chill. Lastly, we have Daredevil, AKA Matthew Murdock. Matthew Murdock is a blind lawyer who often takes a case on pro bono work for his self-made law firm. Matt Murdock is a die-hard New Yorker from Hell's Kitchen and he has a strong desire to help those who cannot help themselves. He takes his desire to the extreme when he assumes the identity of Daredevil, a crime-fighting vigilante who takes on organized crime in Hell's Kitchen. It is clear that his actions through Daredevil are highly motivated by wanting to help others. And not only that, but to keep his friends, loved ones, and his city safe from harm. Daredevil's function can be categorized by escape behavior. Not in the literal sense of running away, but escaping the harm that might come to those he cares for. Escaping the crime in his city and escaping the injustice that falls upon those who have had the system fail. If you disagree with any of these functions or would like to add some, please leave a comment on the video. If you'd like to see something more specific, please also drop that in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep disseminating the science.